Hey there, Mike Giannotti, and I am back to talk about the Elgato Stream Deck Microsoft Teams plugin. It's back, it's live, and you can get it. So if you remember, I got all excited. I am not on the product team, by the way. I had a ton of people pinging me about this. I'm not actually on the product group. Uh, I work in the field, but I'm just very excited about it because, you know, I've got my own Stream Deck here, and being able to use it for that, you'll see it's blank right now, and that's for a reason. Um, is important to me. So what you need to do to set it up, if it's for the first time or whatever, the first thing you need to do is make sure your Stream Deck, uh, the, the Stream Deck itself software is up to date because the latest version has this stuff. So if you come in here, you click the little gear, then you click check for updates. Mine is going to say it's up to date. However, I did grab the screenshots when I did it. When I update it, it's going to say a new version is available. What's new in Stream Deck 6.1? And that's what first greets you. But as you scroll through, you'll see this. Microsoft Teams plugin. It's there. So I'm already updated, like I said. So once you update, you can close that. The next part is to come up here. And we are going to grab, if I click that, and it actually opens the store on my other monitor. So, whoops, drag that over. So then here we're just going to search for Teams. And you'll notice there it is. Microsoft Teams by Microsoft. The official plugin is here. Click Install. I click Install. Da, 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 boom, done. And then I can close this. And if I scroll down to the bottom, there we go. There's my Microsoft Teams. So. What I do now is drag, a click, hold, drag each one of these onto a button. And I could name these. I'll come back and do that later. There's camera. Here's leave. I'm going to put down here. And I'll explain why in a moment. Mute. Raise hand. React applause. React laugh. React like. React love. Love. I want to start singing the love boat. Exciting. Um, yes, I'm dating myself. And react wow. Sham wow. There we go. Boom. So we have those up. Notice though, there's no icons. There's a little lock here in pink. Uh, that's because we need the API. So what we're going to do is go back into our Microsoft Teams. I am not going to put that up there, but I'm going to tell you what you need to do. You go up to the top right. The, the dots, multi-dot ellipsis, click that, then select settings. Once you're in settings, select privacy, then scroll all the way down to the bottom, and it says third-party app API, and there's a button to manage API. You click that, it's going to open up. I'm going to go ahead, and you want to make sure you enable, click that for enable API, and then generate. There we go. I have my API token, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring it on over here, and we will paste that. Not in the title, <laughs> the one below, API token. And we should only have to do this once. And then I hit the Enter button. Boom. There we go. There's all my icons. You can see they went live. And, in fact, they are now on. La -la my little Elgato Stream Deck. Put it back on its stand and I can close this. Now if I start a meeting, let's say I wanted to start one, so I'll just for the heck of it come in to my calendar. I'm going to say meet now. Start meeting. La -di da And I'll mute that. I'm just going to go ahead and say join now. And notice when I joined, they then all lit up. So when you join the meeting, they'll be kind of grayed out looking. When you join the meeting, then they'll be lit up. And then at that point, you know, you can do things like, let's say I turn my camera on. And I don't believe it's going to actually let me do it because I'm using the camera already here. So it's already uh, locked in there. Um, there we go. Now I'm grabbing the other camera. No, video is not working. We couldn't turn it on because I'm already in it. Uh, but you could do that with the mic. You could do that with the camera. And then you could do stuff like blur, raise hand, etc. 
and I'll bring this over. I'm going to hit the raise hand. See how it, it went ahead and then it's indicated that. I'm going to hit it again. It, it undoes that. Clap. There we go. Smile. Ha ha ha. Thumbs up. The love. And the wow. And then when I'm done, hang up. Boom. Done. So that's it. Great uh, little add-on if you have the Stream Deck. Really helps. I will tell you this though. The other thing you might want to consider is adding, and I'm going to pull this over here. And again, I put the hang up separately because I have accidentally clicked it. Again, I'm doing this on hardware buttons, not this is just the software look at it. But you might want to come in here and then add a page. So in that page, then I can come in and we also have, where is that at here? PowerPoint. Oh, so let's go ahead and say, load the presentation because when you're in a meeting oftentimes next slide previous slide so there is a PowerPoint plugin up there right first slide last slide there we go so now you can advance again all at your fingertips you have your uh, teams meeting plug in and you've got your PowerPoint so you can control your deck when you're presenting just makes everything a lot smoother and then you're able to go back and forth by just these buttons and in fact let me hit the button itself there you go it's a lot smoother just a tap boom and there we are so get it have fun with it um, it's a great little plug-in it's live again and I hope you enjoy it Enjoy your little stream deck because they are awesome. That is Mike Giannotti, but you have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.